gives you dominion. Showers of blessings guarantees tremendous progress. Then, I told you understanding the secret. What is the number one secret? I will take only one today and I continue on Wednesday because of time. It is obedience to God's word. You can't enjoy God's blessings if you are not obedient. Hello, sister. Will you, can you bless a child who does not obey you? Is that? But does that mean it's not your child? It's your child. But because of the stubbornness, or because of pain, God bless you, I like that. That's how it is with God. God is not wicked. Everything you are looking for, He has provided. I have seen a father who writes, who wrote a will and said, If this boy does not change before I die, when I die, don't give it to him. I'm a lawyer. We see things. You are amazed when some men write to you. Yeah. You will see the wickedness of man's heart. A man can laugh with you all the days of his life, but it is going to punish you to be at his death. Yeah. You are not behavior. Usually, these rich men, they have a way of dealing with their children. Do you know that in tomorrow, a global school has not been shared? It puts what we call a caveat, C-A-V-A-T, on it. The court puts a caveat until the requirements of the will is fulfilled. That will should not be shared. Because some people will try to play some fast one here. God has a will for us. How do I get what belongs to me in this kingdom? Is obeying his will. Obey this war. It does not cost you anything to obey. Obedience guarantees blessings. I don't care what you know, what you feel. Stop obeying God, you will stop receiving His blessings. But somebody said, Yes, I am blessed already. Your blessings incomparable to what God asked His God for you. He said, Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of men. What God has in store for those that love Him. When you can't love God and not obey Him. So when you think you have seen anything, God is laughing, you have not seen anything yet. It's like a man who struggled to build one room apartment and whereas God said, I have estate for you, He's just looking at you. Amen, someone. Amen. If you must enjoy the benefits of God's blessing, your first requirement is in obedience to His word. Obedience. And this is where we have a problem with the church today. That people are not obedient to God's word. We live here now, everything you have this afternoon goes away. It's just talking this old. I'm like, oh my God, these pastors, that's only they talk. Hey, you are, you are not serving God for me. Can, you, can, can I tell you the truth? Yeah. This Christianity thing is, is personal. As you come here to look for God, that's why Lord, I'm the bishop of this house. I also come to look for Him for myself. I even come more than you to this day. We are here on Friday. Please, I'm not here. Minimum of one hour every day, I come look for him, for my generation, for my family, for you, for my future. So don't say because you come to church, you are helping any man, you are helping yourself. Obedience to God's word. When you obey him, Deuteronomy chapter 28, let's go there and close. Before you begin to claim this blessing, you must see, read it from verse 1. Because from verse 2, that's where the blessing started. But you can't get verse 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13 without 
applying one or two. That's why most times, as a law, I was telling them some things yesterday. When you look at some legal provisions, there's a place they will say section A, B, C. Most times, you want to take only one part. If you if you must interpret it, take start from the beginning. Then you knew what that section, that provision is talking about. The same thing with the word of God. This is not to He said, look at it, look at it. Everybody, can we look at it together? He said, it shall come to pass. In other words, anything you are believing God for will happen. Anything you are asking him for, you will have it. Only if thou shalt ask him, number one, you have to hear diligently and to under the voice of the Lord my God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations. Before he will set you on high, you must act into the voice of God diligently. Look at verse 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The blessings will come if you refuse. Tell someone that you're ready to obey. Go we'll talk to the person. Come on. Come on. Say it. Ask the person very well. This is where we have problem. Children don't obey their parents. People don't obey authorities. And you know that for every disobedience there's a price. Yeah. There is a price. And look at what now says in verse 3. He said, Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Amen. If I were you, I would say amen to that. Amen. And verse 4. He said, Blessed shall be the fruit of your God. In other words, you will not give birth to children that will cause you pain. He said, And the fruit of thy ground. In other words, anything you put your money into will bring result. Thy cattle, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Verse 5. He said, Blessed shall be thy basket and thy storehouse. Verse 6. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in. And blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Even anywhere you go, blessing begin to follow you. Somebody said a better amen. Look at verse He said, The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. What is responsible because you are blessed? People can be rising against you, but you also see them falling before you. Why? Because the blessing of God is upon you. You know that when you obey God, there are some battles you don't need to fight. Yes, Obedience to God's instruction is one key to having a life that is devoid of battles. When you obey God, your enemy becomes God's enemy. Tell somebody, it doesn't cost anything to obey. <laughs> Tell somebody, stop fighting those unnecessary battles. <laughs> just obey God. <laughs> say it again, say, just obey God. <laughs> and you see, this one is very hard. Say, obey God. <laughs> say, say, obey God. <laughs> yeah, because obedience is, is, very, is, very, is very expensive. Yeah. It may not be convenient, but be obedient. Amen. Amen. He said, they shall come out against thee in one way. But what will happen? They will flee before thee seven ways. That shall be your portion. Yeah. 